Hi, Gary Olson. Welcome to the studio. We're going to do a portrait today, a very special portrait of a friend of mine. Uh, this friend uh, lives next door, and uh, uh, she uh, comes over, and uh, you know this is starting to sound pathetic, but uh, she looks in on me, and she hangs out, and I give her dog treats. Oh, yes, I neglected to mention. It's a dog. <laughs> it's a great it's a great dog, too. And I said, you know, I, I really need to do a portrait. And, of course, my next-door neighbor who owns the dog took a wonderful picture of the dog and sent it to me. And, I, I, you know, it's one of those pictures that is just one, of, one in a million. Uh, let's get started. Okay, here's my palette. And the palette has um, Richardson oil paint. I love Richardson. I also love Gamblin. And I even have some uh, Windsor Newton and a couple of Grumbacher tubes in the lot. But uh, this one here is a transparent yellow. It's kind of a tinting color. Uh, and then I've got uh, uh, yellow ochre, white. This is uh, right here, uh, Payne's Gray. Uh, this is Asphaltum, which is a very dark brown. And uh, this is Ultramarine Blue, followed by uh, Dioxazin Purple and Richardson King's Blue. I almost never use a sketch when I do something like this. I, instead, I, I usually take a picture of my subject or maybe somebody sends me a picture in this case, and um, I throw a grid over it. And the grid uh, positions everything in specific spots on the canvas, and then I match that grid to my canvas. And then uh, I don't even sketch. I just do the whole thing with paint and brush, and uh, and I always work with a dark canvas, a black canvas. The black canvas uh, just speeds up the whole process because I like working dark to light, as you will see. In this portion of the video you'll see I love working in broad strokes. I mix my paint uh, on the palette. I work wet on wet and um, it's almost like sculptural. As you layer the paint down you you know can scrape off what doesn't work and you can reapply.
Uh, I like working, like I say, Dr. Light, sometimes I'll tone over an area that I thought I had completed and that I liked but was missing something. I'll put some dark strokes in and then some light strokes, wet and wet, right on top. And what that creates is a soft, uh, almost fur-like effect.
I always put little highlights with white in, in the eyes and uh, it creates kind of a, a, a glistening eye surface is what you want because it adds life to the painting otherwise the eyes are just dead but you add those little highlights and uh, it makes all the difference in the world. Well, there you have it, Daisy. She's gonna love it. Dogs love me, you know, I give them lots of treats. <laughs> I'm going to surprise the owners uh, of this dog with this uh, for Mother's Day. And uh, I think they'll get a real kick out of it. Uh, so thanks for joining me on How to Paint a Dog Portrait. Look at, oh my god, oh, oh. You loved it that much? Oh my God. Mm. Here, let's take a look. Don't, doesn't that look like you? Look, what do you think? Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Listen, if it doesn't smell like food, forget it. <laughs> look at your picture. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> mm. Well, another satisfied customer. It'll look good on my resume. <laughs> oh, she loves me. <laughs> Let's go get something to eat. Yes. <laughs>